see, my life now is very different to the first century. I didn't notice a lot uh, in the first century when it came to what was necessary to come from a condition of sin into it one moment with God. Um, I didn't really, I didn't have that experience in the first century, so I didn't really understand how people could shift from sin into it one moment with God and, and what they needed to embrace in this process. Whereas now, in this experience, I've had a lot of experience now in what is necessary for you to become at one with God from a condition of sin. And what, one of the primary things that is necessary is an embrace, an, a process of embracing your damage, actually fully embracing it as, an, as emotions rather than intellectualising it. Um, rather than even talking about it. You notice that generally I don't talk very much about my emotions except from a teaching perspective. And the reason why is because I, I just feel it's really pointless embracing it or talking about it. In fact, I've said to Mary quite frequently that every time I'm asked to talk to somebody about my emotion, it actually feels like I'm actually degrading the experience. That's what it feels like to me now. So, so I'm much happier to have my own experience without having to talk about it because I can feel the experience more fully as a result. And I feel that's a part of that process of learning to embrace this damage. It's not your real self, but without embracing it, it will not flow from you. Without loving it, it will not flow from you. And as I said to Mary during this process that she's been through, you need to come to love what's inside of you no matter what it is. And part of loving what's inside of you, no matter what it is, is being aware and willing to feel what's inside of you, no matter what it is. So if it's rage, being willing to feel that rage. You know, if it's this terrible feeling about love, you know, that love's pointless and all those kind of, just to feel that feeling. We need to feel these feelings, to feel these damages, to work our way through them. We're still, many of us are still thinking we can talk about them, and intellectually embrace them without actually feeling the damage of it like inside of our heart. And it's only the feeling that is going to cause us to progress. Does that 